Amendment, and then third, what I suggest the First Amendment should be. Of course, you all know this one. Congress shall make no law respecting the establishment of religion, or prohibiting the free exercise thereof, or abridging the freedom of speech, or address, or the right of the people easily to assemble, and to petition the government for redress of grievances. Now what's the reality in 2009? Congress, or the state legislature, or the city council, or a school board, will make many laws disrespecting the establishment of religion, and prohibiting the free exercise thereof, and abridging the freedom of speech, and freedom of the press, and taking away the right of the people to peacefully assemble. And if the people do petition the government for a redress of grievances, you can file it, but we ain't responding to your grievance. Whoa. That, I think, is the reality of what the First Amendment is. And here's what it should be and what we together, together here around this state, especially up in Albany where it's dysfunctional right now, we're looking, desperately seeking for one grown-up in Albany. <laughs> That's right. Desperately seeking one grown-up in Albany and around the country. So it should be something like this. If Congress or a state legislature or the city council or a school board or any public entity dares to make any law respecting disrespecting an establishment of religion or dares to prohibit the free exercise thereof or dares to abridge the freedom of speech or dares to trample on the right of a free press or takes away any public space including Union Square That's right. Yeah. from the right of the people to peaceably assemble and exercise their First Amendment rights and if they do not respond to the people's will, they do not respond to the people's redress regarding any grievance, then the people will come together, as it says in the Declaration of, United, of Independence, which is what we really celebrate today, and the people will come together and they will use the First Amendment to then hold those officials accountable. And if necessary, as it says in the Constitution, who we'll move to impeach or repeal the very government officials who trample on the people's rights right. and civil liberties. Yeah. Yeah. And furthermore, to use the First Amendment right to vote, which is a precious right that people I know, when I was in Mississippi in the 60s, who went south from all over this country to change this country. Some people died, Janie Goodman and Schwerner. Some people were beaten and arrested. And some people were thrown out of the South because of their activism. In the name of all of those people today, on the 4th of July, 2009, if there are elected officials who violate the spirit and meaning of the First Amendment, we the people will use the ballot to make sure that those elected officials are never never again to be elected officials in the city of New York, in the state of New York, and in the United States of America. So, enjoy 
our freedom, fight for our freedom, enjoy our justice, demand justice, enjoy equality, and fight every day so that there's no racism, there's no sexism, there's no homophobia, there's no classism in this city, in this state, and in this country. And we can make it happen. Thank you.